White Lake Group is a leading provider of business application software and services. Since 2002, the White Lake Group has offered leading edge solutions to a variety of industries leveraging J.D. Edwards software products. Our holistic approach drives unparalleled value, ensuring innovative technology solutions are adapted and aligned with the needs of each business and its people. Not technically superior, but measurably beneficial. Today, we're going to be discussing a topic shown at Oracle Open World. White Light Group will be presenting some information on OneView reporting. It's part of the latest roadmap and product release for JD Edwards E1 software. A few of the value drivers of OneView reporting deal with taking the standard JD Edwards reports, utilizing OneView reporting to create quickly and easily reporting for your management team. OneView reporting is accessible from within core JD Edwards applications that's directly an interface with your end users. If you have some customization that you've built within JD Edwards E1, OneView reporting is able to access the standard database files along with your custom tables to provide you with the reporting that you need. End users now, if given proper access, are able to report directly from within core applications. The administrative end of supporting JD Edwards reporting is easier with OneView reporting and it lowers the administrative investment. And additionally, by allowing the end users to generate their own reports, you've lowered the cost in your development IT arena. These all combine to reduce the cost of ownership, improve your end user productivity, and leverages your technology infrastructure. A few specific value drivers of OneView reporting are as noted. End users are able to run reports within interactive applications. They can increase their productivity by having access to operational data. They can customize standard reports or other user reports for their own field and data selection needs. They're leveraging the BI Publisher tool to help define their report outputs. And this goes across the entire E1 suite of modules from sales to employee human resources, from inventory to customer, and also across financial accounts receivables, payables, and for supplier information. There are some prerequisites. You need to make sure that OneView reporting is installed with your E1 software. If you're doing a tools upgrade, and you have previous OneView reports, you need to migrate those to the correct interactive application. You need to, need to make sure that your users have the right role security in order to access the OneView tool. And lastly, the biggest benefit to your organization is to make sure that your key management or your key end users 
have experience in working with OneView reporting. Our agenda today is to do two things. We're going to run an existing OneView report and secondly we're going to create a brand new report. This will show you how easy and effective OneView reporting will be. Let's go ahead and run an existing OneView report. I've signed into JD Edwards E1 9.1. You can see at the bottom of my screen I have a carousel and I have a saved application there. This is the application that we're going to use today to do both tasks. I'm going to go ahead and open up Customer Ledger Inquiry. Normally, when this application is opened, there is no data in the grid. The reason that I have data is that I have a query that I've saved so that whenever I open up my Customer Ledger Inquiry, as one of my favorite applications, that I see exactly what my view of the customer ledger is. You can create a, your own query and determine the filters that would make the data within your application specific to your needs. But let's go ahead and get started with one view reporting. If you have access to OneView reporting, you will see the icon next to the other icons that you're used to seeing, upper left-hand corner of your screen. The drop-down menu shows you two things. The top portion above the line are existing OneView reports. Beho below the line are the menu options needed to create or modify. So let's go ahead. We're going to create our own report later. So now we're going to run an existing report. I want to see what my customer balances are. So let's go ahead and click that report. My screen will blank. Data will flash on my screen. And once that report is done, the output is visible. You can see that I have customer name and number on the left in my dollar balances going across my screen. Below this graph, you will see the table, the data table that makes up the representation of the data in the graph. easy. Now we're going to go ahead and create a brand new report. We're going to go back to that one view icon. We're going to click add reports and the report definitions pop up on the right hand side of your screen. Make your selections and when you go down to the bottom you see the selected column information. Right now, I've selected one column to be in my report. I'm going to select a total of four columns. In order to do that, I move to the column that I want to include in my report, and I click on the green plus sign. Once I do that, that column will then appear under the selected columns. You can see I have four selected columns in my report. I've gone to save my report definition and now automatically pops up that I need to enter a name for my report. Let's go ahead and type in open versus discount and click OK. I'm brought to the BI Publisher interface now. On the top left you can see open versus discount and on the right hand side you can see the green plus sign for add new layout. So let's select that. What opens up here 
are some predefined templates. Also, you'll have options to create your own or to upload a different template. For our purpose today, we're going to use a shared template. I'm going to go ahead and click Chart and Table. Now you are brought to the layout screen where you're going to drag information into your screen to lay it out. You can see that I've dragged open amount and discount available to the upper right going across my chart. And on the bottom I've placed the customer number and the customer name. In my data table I've taken and dragged my four columns that I selected and laid them out in sequence in my table so that as I run my report the table will pop up in this layout. Now I want to call out something. I always want to know when the discounts exceed $150. So I'm going to incorporate the rows under discount available and I'm going to go up to conditional formatting and I'm going to click highlight. The highlight attributes pop up. So on my discount available data field I'm going to select an operator is greater than and put in my value of 150 for $150. And in order to make this even more noticeable, I'm going to highlight that in red. So now my color is red and I click OK. Now in my table that displays the raw data, you can see that I have something that is in red, $179.15. So let's save this. Now we want to select our report title and our chart title. Under Properties, we're going to go down to Chart Title in the text box and we're going to type in the chart title. We're also going to do the same for the report. Now you can see open versus discount and customer balances. The last thing I want to do is to put in a date or timestamp on when I run this report. In case I hand it off to another user or to my manager, I want them to know when this report was run. So under system in the left grid, I'm going to drag time from there and position it on my layout. I'm going to save it and now it's going to ask me what's the layout name being used here. I'm going to use the same title as I did for my report. I will click Save. Now it brings me back to Customer Ledger Inquiry. We have never left Customer Ledger Inquiry. We've created a report seamlessly without even leaving the interactive application. So let's take a look and see if that report is available. We're going to click the One View icon and now I have a title, My Reports, and Open versus Discount immediately appears there. One View Reporting has allowed me in less than four minutes to create a brand new report I'm going to go ahead and select it and my information is displayed as I had laid out.
one view reporting offers increase in productivity. It moves reporting from the development team into the hands of specified users. One view reporting places the ability to provide management with real-time information upon request to a member of their own team. One view reporting allows metrics to be generated as needed. One view reporting makes your ERP system, the investment that you have, more relevant to many user groups by this improvement to their user interface. Let's see how we got there. Open World 2011 introduced E1 9.1 application and also previewed for you the tools release 9.1. One view reporting was included in tools release 9.1. In the last year, continued development from Oracle has been placed on different user enhancements, one of which is OneView reporting. Additional application interface and ease of tools has been released in two subsequent tools releases, 9.1.1 and lastly introduced at Open World 2012 tools release 9.1.2. You can review more information on OneView Reporting, Oracle in general, or J.D. Edwards on the YouTube channel. For more information on today's demonstration, you can contact the White Light Group at sales at whitelightgroup.com or call the direct number listed. You can check us out on the web at www.whitelightgroup.com or follow us on any of the following, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter. The White Light Group, providing clarity to the impacts of change, making technology the easy part. The White Light Group, an Oracle Gold partner.